I'm going to show you how to sell Canva templates today. I'm an invitation designer, but you can use this for social media posts, calendar pages, advertising stuff, any kind of Canva template that you want, you can sell really easily. And this can all be done on the free account. Um, although there are some features in Canva that you might like to use for designing, they can only be done on the paid account. I'm going to link below so you can get the latest discounts on Canva if you decide to sign up. So I went ahead and designed this wedding invitation here in Canva. Uh, the one thing that is kind of frustrating to me as an invitation designer is that you can't have multiple size pages on the same document. So if you wanted to do an RSVP card, a details card, um, an invitation, etc., then you would need to create different canvases for each of those different sizes, unless you wanted to make everything five by seven. Something that I like to keep in mind when we're using templates is how things are best used by someone who doesn't have graphic design experience or someone who doesn't have experience with the exact thing that you're working on. Also, you want to make sure you have correct licenses in order to sell any of these graphics. Um, I made this frame out of public domain elements, so this is something that I do have the right to sell. And then these fonts, there's a free font, and then this script font is my font that I made, so I'm the only person who has rights to use this in a template. If you don't have template rights and a lot of um, elements as well as fonts don't come with template licenses, even if you do have a commercial license. Um, if you don't have those, then you won't be able to sell those. The main difference is who is printing the document, who is using the final document. Um, so even if something is locked in the background, you would still need a template license in order to use that element. Another thing I like to keep in mind is what's easiest for the client. So for instance, I could um, lock this element so it doesn't accidentally get moved. I think that's going to be helpful. I also put all these text boxes as different text boxes because it's going to be really easy for them to change. And I don't want them to have to change everything in one text box so they accidentally forget to put the time of the wedding or something if they just delete everything at once. So I think having these in separate text boxes uh, is a little more annoying when you you're designing, but it breaks it up really easily for the client. And then of course, I'm going to pay attention to the fonts and elements I'm using, just like I mentioned, and make sure that they are really easy to use here in Canva. Any um, uploaded fonts that you use in a template design, if you send the template link, they will have access to that font for that design. So make sure you have that correct license. So if you've uploaded a bunch of different fonts, uh, make sure you're not using a font that you can't share. Um, can't share in a template. But then once you have this design fully set, then what you can do is just click share and then we'll have a template link here. If you don't see the template link here, then you might just need to click more and you can just type in template and you can come up with template link. Mine already has a template link, but if it doesn't already, you would just click create and then it's going to create this little template link and then that is what you would either sell or give away or share with your audience depending on what you're doing here. So let me copy that and bring it into a new browser and show you what it looks like. So it'll say a template created by Lenny Shank was shared with you and using a template. I have to log into an account. So I've logged into a new account that I created here on Canva. Um, it can be a free account though so anyone can use it. And when you go up in here, you can see that they do have Sapphire script as a font here. So if I wanted to change something in this template to a Sapphire script, I could do that, but it's not, you can't really even see fully what it looks like. It's not really attached to this account. It's only in this particular document and they won't be able to use it anywhere else. So again, that's up to you as a designer to make sure that they're do you're doing all of the legal groundwork and not giving out anything that they're going to get in trouble for using because that will just come back to you. And then they can go in here and change um, basically everything. We can change our name. We'll change the date. We can change the colors, etc. And then we can do any kind of uh, downloading, sharing, printing as the client. So in the vein of like making this really easy on them, again, I just put these into separate 
uh, text boxes. I'm going to make sure I have all the licenses. And then another thing is you might just want to add an instruction sheet. And if you're doing a lot of templates, this would just be a really easy piece to put in the front. So you could just add a new page and include that page as instructions. And then we also locked um, this element so that when they go into the template, they're not going to accidentally move that. They can always unlock it and move it or replace it with something else if they decide to. Uh, but that's most likely the reason that they are purchasing this particular template. So they most likely are not going to want to do that. So that will stay centered and exactly where it needs to go. And once you have that link, uh, what should you do as far as actually selling or giving away? If you're just giving it out to people on your email list, for instance, you can always just send it as a link. Um, another option is if you're selling it to just have kind of a download. Here's an example of one that I have for a course where it's also just a link to the course. So you can just say, hey, thanks for purchasing this. Um, we have a code for the part two of this course, we have a few different resources mentioned here. We can also put our social handles. Just using this download as a way to thank them, walk them through the process. You can put instructions or reminders here, um, and then just kind of linking that direct template link there, and then it will open directly up. So that's a great way you can link this on Shopify, on Etsy, etc. Um, so having that directly in a download, and if you just create a nice download like that and have it here in Canva, it can be really easy to replace the link for each different template that you create. And I would highly recommend for every uh, piece that you create, you copy that template link over into a spreadsheet so that if anyone ever needs it for any reason, or if you need to access it, or if someone's creating all those digital downloads, uh, you'll have all of those template links ready to go. People sell Canva templates for all sorts of things, social media graphics, um, course graphics, download graphics, PowerPoint presentations, wedding invitations, etc. So whatever you're thinking about selling, it's super easy to do just sharing that template link. And you can share that in whatever way makes sense for you, whether it's a free link, something you have to sign up for in your email list or through a paid product. And if you're interested in learning more about designing wedding invitations specifically, I'm going to link a few resources below and some playlists that I have that will teach you more about stationary design. Thanks, everyone.